In the video for today, I'm going to speak to you about whether or not you could track a lost or stolen phone using the SIM card that was in the phone when it was actually misplaced. Hello my friend, my name is Kenneth Brown, welcome to channel Signatech and how are we doing today? I hope fantastic, well if you're not, this is going to cheer you up because if you are getting confused about the fact that a SIM card could trace a phone, we are sailing in the same boat. Even I think that is possible, but let's do an analysis about this so that we come to a proper conclusion about whether that is possible or no. The first thing is, when you lose your phone, you are going to go ahead and try tracking it if you have an Android device on find my device which is an application by Google itself or if you have an iPhone get onto iCloud to try and track it on maps now most of the time you're just going to see the last location of the phone to be very honest okay so what you are going to do next is try and get to that location if it was in a restaurant or something you try to you know find your phone or get it back whatever it is if you do not find your phone the next thing you do is think about uh, websites online or services on instagram or whatever it is so I receive a lot of emails almost each and every single day. People are asking me to help them trace their phone or laptop or tablet or whatever it is traceable with an IMEI number. And some people also get online to like websites in which uh, they put in the IMEI number or serial number and stuff like that and try to get their phone. Now, my friend, those are all scammy. Okay, then the next thing that comes into your mind is filing in a report to the local police station, which you need to do if you misplace your phone, if it is not uh, found, right? So you go ahead, file in an FIR and then, so if you have a specific department in your country that caters to lost phones or tablets, Android or Apple devices, you could go ahead and file in a complaint out there so that your IMA number is blocked, okay? If you do not have a department like this in your country, not a problem, as long as you file in a report to the local police station, you're good to go, okay? So you basically try all of these things and something that strikes your mind is that the SIM card, whether we could trace our lost phones or devices using the number. So here there are two parts. If you have a phone that allows you to put in a physical SIM card, and you have a phone with an inbuilt SIM card. These days you get such phones. So in the first case wherein you have a physical SIM card to put in a SIM slot, if you have misplaced such a phone, then you could do one thing by calling up your service provider, maybe AT&T, Airtel, Vodafone or whatever it is, and try and see if these guys could trace your phone using its number. Now, most of the times these guys would not have access to the phone's location to be very precise because if somebody has the intention of stealing your phone i'm sure he or she is going to remove the sim card that's the first thing that they're going to do so this is not going to be so effective when it comes to a phone that allows you to put in a physical sim card but if you have a phone that uh, does not have a physical sim card that has an inbuilt sim or inbuilt number to communicate with a network, then it is gonna be quite effective. So what you could do is you could call up the network provider and ask them to block the number. So once they block the number after you provide them with proper documentation, then that phone, whoever gets it or whoever finds it, is gonna be a piece of plastic. They will not be able to use that phone anymore. Okay, now the next thing is trying to trace that device. You could also check with your network provider to see if they can actually trace the location of that device. Sometimes if you are working with the police, they could actually communicate with your network provider and they could actually get a report of the last location at least so that you could get to the place and see if uh, you know your phone is still there or if that person is nearby or whatever it is. But all in all, this is just a chance. It is not so certain that you could trace a phone using a SIM card. So if you have that thought in your mind, you could give it a try, not a problem. You could always call your network provider, ask them to trace the phone, block the number. If you have an inbuilt SIM and stuff like that, that could be done. But do not depend on the fact that 
a SIM card could trace your device. Bet is to get to the local police station and work with them closely to try and get your phone back. If you have an Android or Apple device, these days, most expensive phones are actually insured for losses against theft, water damage, fire damage, or whatever it is. We do have such insurance policies online. If you have such active insurance policies, you could go ahead, file in a report out there and uh, you could request a new device for yourself. Or if you have to be specific an Apple device, you could check and see if that is still under coverage and you could get a new replacement for yourself. And if you have any questions regarding this specific topic, I suggest you shoot an email across to me. My email is in the description box or you could also get to the about page and get in touch with me directly. If you got some value from our video for today, give it a thumbs up, post or comment, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.